always have the darnest time trying to come up with how to start <laughs> these these videos um, and it normally ends up like this <laughs> so here we are today's workouts or today's workout went really really well I and I gotta be honest here I um I started out having like this really really big negative view I guess we'll call it in in the workouts that I've as much as that as excited as I was to to give it a shot I was kind of skeptical because when I when I worked out before when I tried getting into workouts before this uh this particular structure or the the individual muscle group approach was the first thing that was uh, sort of, I guess, prescribed to me by, um, by when I got like, or when I tried to get a trainer and all that. And like, it just, I don't know what it's either. I wasn't that interested in the time or I wasn't motivated enough to really, really want to change my body or something. I don't know what it was, but one thing was for sure is that I wasn't feeling it. Right. And like, it just, it pushed me away and it, it, um, I, I dropped it. So with that, be, <laughs> with that being said, I, um, yeah, I, I, I was kind of skeptical coming into the workouts this week, but after doing two days of it, um, I, I'm really starting to understand why, uh, people stick to this particular style. And I don't think I would have fully been able to grasp it though, because like I know myself and I'm a pretty stubborn person. Like I, I need to try things myself in order for me to make a decision. Uh, I do try to listen to people, right? Always, 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 always. But for the most part, I, and it, I'm not saying it's a good thing about myself. I am very aware that I do this, but um, yeah, I have to try things first. And I think that if I did not do the full workout everyday approach for the first, you know, 30 something days, I don't think I would have been able to appreciate um, this new workout structure, which is like the individual muscle groups over four days. Uh, yeah, straight up. Because like, now I understand like, okay, you could actually do a lot more when your muscles are recovered versus when they're sore. For some reason, I had this like idea or this belief that like the best time to work out your muscles is when they're still sore because they're still, uh, they're still so heavily. I don't know. There was like some bro science in my head that was just thinking like, you know, like, the harder it hurt or the more it hurts, the, the more you gain, right? <laughs> more pain, more gain. <laughs> weird, weird logic. And I apologize if it was, you know, if it threw everyone off, but that's what this challenge is about, right? It's about uh, learning. And this is something I definitely learned and that I will be carrying over moving forward uh, for my entire, like, time that I choose to uh, be fit, which I mean, ideally is going to be the rest of my life. So uh, I think this approach is going to be something that I'm going to stick with. I might switch it to like, occasionally I might do like five individual muscle groups and I'll try like three. Uh, but for the most part, like these next two weeks, I want to stick to doing these uh, four individual muscle groups f over four days and then just rotating that and then um now now i'm even like more excited though because uh like i said i i i feel like i'd lift a lot heavier i get way more gas though and i'm sweating a lot more uh and i think it's because i'm putting a lot more into it now also i, I am increasing the weight and i'm doing um i am doing less reps uh, but I, i'm going heavier weight so i'm, I'm but the way I see it, I'm I, I'm doing like 
almost six to eight movements of that particular group with about two to three sets um, in each one. So I think I'm hitting a pretty good amount. I, I, like, I'm not going too far, but I know I'm not doing not enough to where it's not significant. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> but wait, let's, oh, I was looking for my phone. <clears throat> but yeah, let's, um, let's segment that in to what I did for today's workouts. <clears throat> and for today, hold on, let me update my water count. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. And for today, we, uh, um, it was back day. So I did, um, well, I had, I went past my hour, so I had to stop and I had like two more movements that I couldn't get to. But um, overall, yeah, my back is cooked and like I, I did make sure that I, I went ham in every one of my sets that I was working out. Uh, but for today, it was the lat pull downs. I did 20 reps of those. Uh, the low row, I did 20 reps of those. The barbell rows, 20 reps. Bicep curls, 20 reps of those. And then the back extensions, I did 40 reps, four sets of 10. And planks, we did four sets of 80 seconds, as well as the flutter kicks for 50 kicks, four sets of those. The two exercises that I wasn't able to get to today was the vertical row as well as the high row. So um, the next time I do back, I'm going to most likely, if I don't have enough time, I'm gonna substitute the lat pull down and the low row for the vertical row and the high row that day to make up for missing out on those exercises. But that's how I plan to um, approach this new uh, routine for these next two weeks uh, because I, I kind of like the idea that I'm giving myself a time limit because when I leave the gym, I'm like today I was kind of upset uh, I had to get I had to get back home because I, I had work, but um, yeah, I, I felt like I was lacking. Again, I'm not like I was gassed, right? I was I was fatigued. My muscles were absolutely shot, but like um, I just I felt unfinished, right? So I don't know if that's a bad thing. I don't know if it's a good thing. But it's, <clears throat> it definitely leaves me wanting like, or it has me like thinking like, fuck dude, I need, do I need to go back to the gym today, right? And like, if it's giving me that feeling, that's great because um, again, the one thing you don't want is to become bored of this whole thing, especially if, you know, it's only day 35. <laughs> we still have about 65 more days to go. But another way to look at it is, oh my God, there's only 65 days left to go. Glass half empty, glass half full. <laughs> it's gonna be glass half full for me. Yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>